Hello, my name is Erilyn Wallen and I'm here to talk about Benjamin Britten's Friday Afternoons. Friday Afternoons are a collection of 12 songs for children and they were composed between 1933 and 1935. Literally just after Benjamin Britten had graduated from the Royal College of Music and they were specifically written for the Friday Afternoon singing sessions which his brother used to lead at Prestatin, a school at Clive, I think it's called Clive House in Prestatin. And so they were written for children who aged sort of between 7 and 13. So uh, I suppose voices that move from treble just to the point of breaking. Most of the songs are for unison voices, apart from Old Abram Brown, which is, uses canon in a very ingenious way. But, uh, and... Maybe there's a couple of places where the voices go into two parts, but the idea is that these songs are simple and fairly easy to learn and that will be fun to sing. And I think what is really, really wonderful and charming about them is that, you know, the sound of unison singing is a very particular sound and it's as if Benjamin but knows exactly the sound he's going for. What's interesting when I was sort of coming to write my own Friday Afternoons project is that actually children seem to sing l lower now. Um, I, I know when I was singing as a kid, Fs and Gs were, were nothing. And same with this collection. The voices actually go quite high. But I think it maybe says something that maybe children sang every day before. the composers who have gone on to, to set anthologies for young children to sing. I feel as if we're all in the shadow of Britain somehow. And I, it's made me, you know, writing my own collection of songs has made me think a lot about what Britain thought was so important, which is that music should be for everybody, it should be useful, it should always serve a purpose, um, and it should involve the whole community and all age groups. And so the fact that his Friday afternoons was written specifically for, you know, as part of the school curriculum, it, it was quite humbling when I came to think about what I would do with mine. And I, I suppose I thought, what could I add to already such a great repertoire? <laughs>